Hi, I'm Guy, I teach at Allegiance MMA. Uh, today I'm going to show you the half guard sweep using a Kimura to turn your opponent. So, if we come over here. Now, I bend it up on my back, Dan's passed his way in, and I've hit a knee shield. Now this is really important, I do not want him clambering past his shield. It's the only thing saving me. In MMA, with sweat, with movement, explosive passes, I'm not going to be able to be here long. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a Kimura. Now, the key is this, as he walks up, very often people will make the mistake of putting their hand here. As soon as his hand goes there, I'm going to grip, okay? Notice, I push as I grip, I'm driving him backwards. I lock in, step across, and grab my arm. Connect the hand and the wrist, I'm going to go for my Kimura. Now, I'm not going to finish from here, I'm going to use it to sweep. So I come here, the key with the sweep is the legs. I'm going to drive my legs through deep in the half guard, under, okay, from here. I drive it up his back, he's going to roll and turn. When we get to here, I want to get my leg out. So as soon as you get here, Dan's going to be trying for the half guard. I don't want him to get it. So as soon as I land, I kick my leg out. Take a back step and sit through. I switch my hips and then from here, keep his hand on the mat and bring it up. I'm just going to spin him around. Come on, Dan. Thank you. Okay, so we've swept him, we've ended up here. Hand is pinning his hand to the mat. My hand is underneath the elbow, behind the shoulder in this case, gripping my own wrist. From here, I'm gonna turn and bring him up to me. As I go up further and further, he's gonna get tapped. Now occasionally, you'll meet someone who's super flexible in the shoulders, Dan's not, it's too much muscle. Because of this, if you find they are too flexible and they start following you as you come up here, I want you to switch your hips. So I switch from here to here. I take my left leg and throw it over his head. Now he can't follow me. So I can crank this as hard as I want and he's gonna have to tap. Okay, I want to show it one more time. So, I'm on my back. I've ended up in a knee shield and I know I can't hang out here. So, he's going to be coming down, he's trying to pass. He puts his hand here. This means I can attack the Kimura. So I immediately come out and grab. Drive forwards. Notice how I'm pushing him backwards. Controlling your opponent's head will give you control over his body. From here, I link, link in between my hands and then I throw my hips underneath. So I'm going to go parallel, okay, to here. I don't mean parallel, I mean at 90 degrees. From here, I lock it, I drive it up, and he begins to sweep. We get to here, I'm just gonna spin around a little bit. There we go. Hands on the mat, driven down. Gravity is my friend. This comes underneath. Grip, turn, and pull. I've been lazy, and I've left my foot in for half guard. I can still finish this here, but if I need to switch, I'm gonna regret it. So when you do get here, kick the leg out first, you'll find it a lot easier. From here, you'll get a nice tap. Did you enjoy that clip? If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you'll get some more notifications. See you on the next one.